Hello everyone and welcome to another video about the popular neural network that is Leela Chess Zero. Now you might remember some uh, maybe less than a month ago I made a one video about Leela Chess Zero where I mentioned uh, that uh, at the moment uh, at the time I was making this video she was rated about uh, around 1800 and uh, while she's not uh, at Alpha Zero level just yet uh, she is already rated uh, maybe not rated, but she did play um, a match against uh, an over 3,000 rated engine, and uh, she also performed uh, over 3,000. So, uh, what I, I do want to mention a couple of things. Uh, well, as of uh, I think as of today, or maybe maybe yesterday, uh, you can actually play against uh, Lila Chess Zero on Lee Chess. Lila has a Lee Chess account uh, here. You can find her as Lila Chess. Uh, there with purple letters you can see that she is a bot and she already has 332 followers uh, the way you challenge her you have to follow her and then you have to wait for her to follow you back and only then you can play against her uh, the reason she has a Lee Chess account is, be, uh, is because on Sunday uh, I, I don't really know the date let me just check Sunday will be uh, 22nd yeah, I believe 22nd of April, she will be playing a match against uh, Andrew Tang, uh, Grandmaster Andrew Tang, also known as the Penguin, uh, on Lee Chess, so that will definitely be an interesting event. And uh, as of this season, uh, Leela will also be competing uh, in the TCEC uh, event, the Top Chess Engine Championship, even though she's not an engine, basically she's a neural net, uh, but she's the first neural net that will be competing in such an uh, elite uh, championship for engines. Uh, she will not be, uh, you know, uh, battling the strongest engines uh, right right away like Stockfish and Houdini. Uh, but uh, first she has to start in a lower division. But as she improves, she will definitely uh, get, get her chance to challenge the big boys. So uh, in the this uh, this year's in the TCEC, she will be running on a CPU. Uh, but maybe as of next year, as uh, the makers of Leela Chess Zero say, depending on the community and the contributions they receive, uh, she will uh, then maybe even run on a GPU or or uh, slash TPU next year, which uh, of course will make her a lot more powerful. Uh, but uh, other than this. Um, Alila also played a match against uh, Lasse Ostebolovic. Lasse Ostebolovic uh, is an international master from Norway, also uh, uh, a, uh, a law student, he's 25 years old, and he played a 10-game ten, ten match against Lila in rapid time format. Uh, I will tell you results of the match after I show you this game, but this is one of the games uh, Lila played, and it's quite an interesting game, uh, very, very human-like, so I really enjoyed it, and I will show you uh, probably a couple of more games uh, since uh, we do have to prepare for her big match with the Penguin. And uh, another interesting uh, thing uh, to actually qualify for the TCEC, Lila had to, Lila had to score a rating over 3000 because you can't compete in the TCEC if you're rated below 3000. So in her first match against uh, against engine called Scorpio, uh, she lost that match and she was uh, she got a rating performance of around 2700. Uh, but already in, in the next match, uh, she played against, I believe the engine's name is Fruit, also uh, rated very high. Uh, she scored a rating performance of over 3,000, so she qualified for, for the TCC. So very exciting times, as uh, about a month ago she was rated around 1,800. So de definitely a nice learning curve. So, uh, but to, to reach the levels of Alpha Zero, of course, she needs uh, she needs... Uh, hardware as as well as uh, you know a, a lot of support. So let's see this game. In this game, uh, Mr. Lovic, who is also on Lee Chess called uh, EM Loblas, uh, I will put a link to his account in the description below. You can also add him, challenge him, uh, and and so on. So in this game, he played d4. Uh, we have knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, and the d5. So the queen's gambit declined. Uh, C captures on d5, E captures on d5, and now bishop to g5. And this is a the, the most standard position of the queen's gambit declined. Uh, I already shown you that game where Dodo tricked his opponent with knight b to d7, uh, and, <laughs> and then followed knight captures on d5, and after knight captures, uh, Dodo's opponent was extremely confused. How did Dodo overlook his queen? Uh, but of course, after bishop captured, now comes bishop to b4 check, and it's, it is uh, now... Uh, very understandable that white didn't really win anything as white is down a whole knight here. Uh, 
Uh, but in the game, Lila played bishop to e6. Uh, we have queen to b3, now pressuring the d5 pawn, although you can never really capture that, uh, but going for the b7 pawn. Uh, bishop to d6, and now you have to decide what to do here. Probably the best idea in the in the spirit of the position is e4 here. Uh, you can't really go for bishop captures on f6 with the idea of winning a pawn because you run into pretty much, uh, sorry, not queen captures. Uh, you run into pretty much uh, the same idea as before. The bishop to b4 check uh, wins the game. You have to move, then you lose the queen. Uh, but in the game, uh, international master Lovic played queen captures on b7. And uh, whether this is the losing move that actually lost in the game, probably not. But it's very interesting how, how Lila plays against against this idea. Uh, knight beat to d7, as the rook on a8 was attacked. Uh, e3, uh, we have rook to b8 and queen captures on a7. So now white already grabbed both b pawn and the a pawn. So if white can castle safely, that's basically a winning advantage. You're just gonna... Uh, push the a pawn and and win the game. The a pawn is a passed pawn. Nothing can oppose it. Uh, but uh, let's see what happened. Here we have castles by Lila and the bishop to d3. Uh, so you you still have to develop the bishop, the knight, and then you can castle. Uh, we have c5 and here bishop to b5. Uh, the problem here, if you want to just uh, start developing really quickly to get your king to safety as soon as possible, for example, you develop knight to g2, e2, then black will play c4, you have to move the bishop not to c2, you don't want to allow rook capture some b2 with a, with a tempo on this bishop on c2. So after rook captures, now if you castle, you run into bishop captures on h2 with check. Uh, king captures and then you're gonna lose the game uh, very quickly as white queen h4 is coming uh, even even if white defends this you can even give up uh, one knight uh, just just to block this diagonal uh, so after c5 you can't really go for for some rapid development uh, unfortunately bishop to b5 uh, this was tried by international master uh, Lovic uh, rook to a8 uh, queen to b7 and now c captures on d4 so you do have to respond to this, e captures on d4, and now queen to a5. And now the knight on c3 is pinned, but even more important, uh, this opens up uh, a, pa a path for this rook from f8 to come join, join the attack on the white queen. Uh, bishop captures on d7, we have now rook f to b8. Uh, so an in-between move that uh, gets the rook mobilized. Uh, queen to c6, and now bishop captures on d7. Queen captures on d6, and rook captures on b2. So if you look at this position, uh, Lila is down a piece, but um, it's very hard for white to find a move here. The knight is uh, under attack here. So there really isn't much you can do. Uh, in the game, white played uh, knight to e2, but uh, there is a move that pretty much uh, solves everything for black. Uh, rook captures on e2, and this was played in the game. Uh, you can't capture with the knight, of course. The knight is pinned, so king captures, uh, and now queen captures on c3. And uh, now, what do you do here? Uh, well, you would definitely enjoy getting your king back to safety. So, rook h to b1. Uh, you might uh, you might ask yourself why not why not rook h to c1 getting your rook into the game and also attacking the queen and not allowing the queen to uh, give check on c4. Uh, <laughs> the reason is then you allow bishop to b5 check. That's why rook to b1 was essential uh, because after bishop to b5 the king can no longer run to f1 and uh, after a couple of a couple of checks uh, white will be checkmated very very soon here. Queen captures, queen d3 check, king here, queen b5, and there is now no more no more running for the white king. Queen a6, rook captures, uh, this will be checkmate. So, uh, after queen captures on c3, rook h to b1 now, not allowing bishop to b5 check. But it doesn't matter, Lila goes for uh, queen to c4 check, uh, rook, uh, uh, king to e1, and now rook to e8 check. Uh, bishop to e3 blocking, and... Uh, it's a very nice position for you to even pause the video and try to find uh, how to continue the attack here for black. So uh, do try and find it. Uh, give it a couple of seconds, you know, or even a minute if you feel like it. 
So uh, if you found the uh, found the move, congratulations, you are an excellent attacker. And if you just want to enjoy the show, uh, here Lila played bishop to g4. Now the threat, of course, is queen to e2 checkmate, and there is very little white can do here. Uh, in the game, uh, f3 was played, but even if you try something like rook to b2 to prevent checkmate this way, uh, then queen to c3 uh, ends the game immediately. Uh, you either move the king and then queen captures on b2, you lose the rook, or you block with the rook and then you get queen captures on a1. Uh, rook blocks and queen captures on d1, again with checkmate. Uh, but okay, in the game f3 was played, but now comes rook captures on e3, this is with check. Uh, king to f2 and now queen captures on d4. Uh, there are no threats white can make uh, on, on the last rank, as this rook will rush back into the defense <laughs> with a discovered check. So king back to f1, now bishop captures on f3, again there is nothing white can do here. Uh, queen to g3 was played, now bishop to e2 check, king moves, and now bishop to b5, a discovered check from the rook. Uh, and it was in this position that uh, Norwegian international master Lasse Ostebo Lovik resigned the game. Uh, there is of course nothing you can do if you capture with the queen, you lose the queen and then you're getting checkmated. Uh, and if you move the king, then simply you move the rook, rook e4 check, king here, and then bishop to e2, uh, this, this will be checkmate. So yeah, uh, after this uh, bishop to b5 check, uh, Mr. Lovic resigned the game and uh, a very nice 26 move uh, game, we might say a miniature, uh, was created by Lila Chess Zero. So I really enjoyed this game and I will put a link in the description below with all of the games from this match, uh, so you're free to check out all of them. Uh, all of the games are, are very interesting and uh, uh, I did mention that Lila lost uh, the first uh, her first match against uh, the chess engine where uh, that she had to play to qualify for the TCC, uh, the engine Scorpio, uh, but she achieved uh, also a very nice miniature with the black pieces against it, so uh, I will try to find that game to show it. Uh, to prepare uh, for our Sunday match, uh, uh, <laughs> Lila Chess Zero against uh, against Andrew Tang. So yeah, and uh, yeah, a couple of you did mention that this is not Lila, this is Cortana. Yeah, the reason I'm using Cortana is that Lila uh, still does not have any any graphics to her. So I do I do need to put something here. So since I don't have anything uh, to use as Lila, I decided to use Cortana. There's no specific reason for it. Uh, I just uh, you know Googled AI, and uh, it's one of the things that popped out. Uh, I thought it was thought it was kind of kind of fitting. I don't know. Maybe it was a poor choice, but uh, you know, I, I did do it, so basically there, there it is. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, I will show uh, a couple of more games uh, played by Lila Chess Zero. Uh, I will put a lot of links in the description below where you can check out uh, a lot of her games, uh, how to play against her, uh, how to install her, uh, how to help her become stronger. Uh, basically, every useful link about Lila Chess Zero will be in the description below, so feel free to check uh, all of it out. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, El Mehdi Modene for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, uh, probably with another game uh, by Lila Chess Zero. Thank you all.